just arrived back at camp after a few days off in the city, helping some people out doing stuff. And I've done another bannock. This one is awesome. Look at that. I used a little bit more water. I don't know, it's going to be in the middle. But it's perfect. Sorry, I'm looking at it and not filming it. Look at that, it's spot on. Someone gave me a load of these hot dog sausages. I don't really like them, but. Christ, that was hot. I'm only ones for a freebie, so I used it. Uh, I'm still, I haven't got full kit going, so I'm just using these things. Savory rice. I've got some greens in there which I've just foraged, a couple of stinging nettles and primrose leaves. Onions, garlic, a couple of chopped up hot dog sausages. And I reckon that's going to be banging. And they're also red lentils. I brought a uh, packet of red lentils on lemon. So I've got a bit of protein, carbs in the rice, carbs in the bread and some greens. Should be alright. A few stinging nettles in there. Oh god, that's tilting now. That's got too hot. Okay, I'm gonna have to put this down because uh, this one hasn't got any handles. I'll have to get it off us with two sticks and put one that side, one that side, and then lift it up. Yeah, that's my dinner. Someone asked me the other day, what do you eat out there? So I'm just going, gonna go through my little cheap and easy dinner recipes you buy these savory rice in uh, Iceland for 50p each or they're two for a quid so I buy those and pasta and sauce and then just uh, viff them up a bit you know soup them up with uh, whatever either chorizo hot dog sausages some greens from around <laughs> onions garlic yeah just make it a bit more hearty and good for you right on catch you later bye so, same meal as the other day, but this time I've presented it a little bit better. I've sliced the bannock, put the melted cheese on top, and the egg. It's beautiful and runny. So I'm going to tuck in. Well, just woke up. Hammered it down last night. Everything's wet. Not my chair isn't wet, but some of the stuff under here just gets wet. I think it's the water rebounds and splashes and whatever. So all my fungus got wet, but anyway, I lit the fire in here with a little piece of charcoal. Now, today, I'm going to be making clothes pegs. And to do that, with the offcuts from the wizzy hedges, um, all the ends here, I cut these down. You end up these little sticks and I'm going to turn these into clothes pegs. First of all I've got to make like some kind of selfie stick or camera holder some description so I'm going to have to walk around and find something like a v-shaped sticks and lash them up. That's my first mission and then I'll get on with making some clothes pegs because they're quite cute and quite fun. Right on later. Just made a camera holder of two bits of hazel. Joy. Right. Not really set up yet. I was just testing. Okay. So, clothes pegs. So you make clothes pegs in the wild. Spin that up a bit. Got to have them. Also, you find a nice off cut. It's like I'm using this as a club. It's just a bit of hazel and a knot, not the end on it. But I'll carve it down to a nice handle one day. Can't be bothered right now. Oh, 
on which way they go together. Right, so I'm just going to carve these down a bit and shave off the inside so you'll get when they come back together there'll be a little gap there you see and I'm going to go ahead and do this so there we go you've got the uh, gap in the middle now we're gonna do oh, it's all over there idiot let's get the ball of twine take off say half a meter this stuff goes such a long way it's brilliant you do so many little jobs with it And then because like you always split it, they actually go back together really nicely. And you just start off with clove hitch. Oops, I've just lost the end. Why are you doing that to me, man? Okay, that would do. It's kind of a clove hitch, in fact it's not, it's just a granny knot, but never mind. But it's not too grannyish that it looks ugly. And I'm just going to go back over that a few times and tie it tight. Finish off with another clove itch. Oh no, we just. I did double. Just wrap it around a few times and then just pull it till it goes down tight. There's no slippage. There you go, one finished clothes peg. That's the first one I need. I've never actually made these before, I just worked it out how to do it the other day. I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. I'll make a load of those. So I've got enough little pieces of wood here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I had enough for eight. Yes, I do. There's six more to go. I've made two. And they're all slightly different. And they've all got a little quirk about them. There's the finished article. Eight clothes pegs. Excuse me. Eight clothes pegs. Ready for when I wash my clothes. Need to hang them out. I'm going to wash my clothes in big saucepan get some of that ecova washing up liquid stuff washing clothes washing stuff chuck them in there chuck them on the fire boil it up for a bit hit it with a stick bring it out hang it on the line but the weather's a bit grotty today and i ain't got any clothes to wash but i'm quite happy with those it's just hammered it down with rain i'm sat here eating some porridge. Listen to that. Bloody birds are going mental. I said a robin here. <clears throat> I'll turn the camera on to film him. But he flew away. He was going mad for it. Singing away. It's like the whole forest has come alive. Pretty amazing. Sunday the 2nd of April. It's a fabulous morning. Everything's looking quite nice down here now. Got another wall 
that was in there. And I'm going to put a third one now across there. And then I'm going to go up to the quarry, start bringing down big bits of stone, and then build a little stone wall here with a gap. there and then over to where the sunlight is and sort of maybe return it up that way just to make it look nice really and block out a bit more wind um, and then over by the caravan <laughs> probably going to build it one last wicker wall and I've also got a hurdle that me and a guy called Jeff made when I was working out here to bring down and put somewhere. So that should enclose me quite nicely and block out a lot of the wind that comes through here. And even though it's nowhere near as bad as the other side of the river. So yeah, the job this morning is to build this wicker hurdle and then collect stone to build stone walls. Lovely day for it, and then this afternoon I think I'm just going to sunbathe. Nate. This is one of my favourite little tools, I borrowed it off the farmer down here. It's in the muck off the blade. Exactly too sharp, just gotta go in the ground. I'll beat these in in a minute. Do another three of those, I'll beat them in the ground.
man, tree man, green man, clean man, he's running wild. Heart lost, tears drop, rain fall, eyes up, love lost, paths crossed, she's in his mind. Dreams of those days by your side. Freedom, this man can't be tied. Dream time, night time, stars shine so bright, firelight inside cleans up his mind. Sunshine, eyes wide, daylight, your eyes, she wakes, he smiles, she's in his arms, heart beats so close to mine. Dreams of those days by your side. Young man, wild man, free man, tree man, green man, clean man, he's running wild. Sunshine, eyes wide, daylight, your eyes, she wakes, he smiles, she's in his arms. Heart beats so close to mine, dreams of those days by your side. Heart beats so close to mine Dreams of those days by your side Solid. Net, my friends. How you make hurdles. Some people said they like I like me to do different accents on here, so you know. I don't know why, I've just come out with an Aussie accent. Maybe it's because the sun's out and like I'm wearing me heavy annas and it's a beautiful day. Even though there's a few clouds come over now, you know. But that's how we make hurdles, you know, in this country. I don't know about you, know. I use them to keep in my sheep like, you know. Anyway, there we go. Made a hurdle. Okay, I've just found absolute treasure trove watch the brambles donned my welly boots I saw this fallen tree here I thought oh, I'll investigate that see what it's all about because sometimes depending on the species oops almost fell you get mushrooms and look at them all These are called Judas Judas ears. Judas's ear. And I'll pull one off. Look at that badass. Can't see it because of the light properly. Look at the size of it. Look at the size of my hand. Now there's literally 50 of these around here. So I'm going to spend the next few minutes harvesting these. And I can dry them out, put them on that twine I've got, I'll make a little needle, string them up, dry them in the sun, and these are medicinal types of mushroom. 
The Chinese go mad for them. They're part of Chinese medicine. Now what I'll do is just chop them up and put them in stews and whatnot and just eat them. I don't know what the Chinese do with them. That's what I'll do with them. And there are at, like literally hundreds here. So I'm going to harvest these and I'll show you my crop in a minute. Crikey, this place is a treasure trove. Right, I've just got a bag full of those. Now I've just noticed in that over there. Let's go over. Yeah, that funny noise, that's my belly boots. Tinder fungus, or King Alfred, in fact, it's King Alfred's burnt cakes. I can see him on that branch there. I climb the fence here. Wedgie, oh. Here we are, another load of these. These are real handy. Oh, that one was too far gone. That's too far gone. Some of those are too far gone. I've got a couple there. There we are, quite a haul. I mean, some of them are perfect examples. Look at that one. Who's <laughs> that got like an ear? <laughs> Jews' ears or Judas' ears? Not really sure. Something like that. They grow on the elder tree, so I can confirm that that tree that had fallen down was an elder. Oh, they're brilliant. So. Don't need much, just to cook me dinner on. <laughs> 